So here we are again with another interview. Now I have uh, a new person to be interviewed. I let him to present to introduce himself. So who you are? Where do you come from? What are you doing there? Where you live? Hello, my name is uh, Narcis Dragomir. I am youth pastor in the campus of Sagunto in Spain. Uh, I've been working for one year and a half there. And uh, my wife and I, both of us, uh, were invited to give a workshop here in, uh, in the Congress. And uh, it's been uh, a very good experience since mm -hmm. now. So far. And uh, so you, you said that you're a youth pastor, so that... Yeah means that you are very related to that, to that ministry and uh, yeah, I, I guess that's why you were called to do something here. What was the workshop about? Yeah, I, I give a workshop about uh, multiculturalism and the church because I, I have some cultures in, uh, <laughs> in, in myself. I was born in Romania, I grew up in Spain and I'm married to a, a Spanish girl but she's uh, the daughter of uh, two Argentinian uh, Family, the parents, person, yes. parents, and uh, yeah, it's I have something, something uh, mixed inside of me. Half Romanian, so, half Spanish. I have. So you are actually the the, 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 the I mean the, the concretization of a lot of different cultures. Yeah, yeah. So I you, have. <laughs> so you know what is. Yeah, I I I've, I know a little bit because I uh, grew up in a Romanian church. Yeah. I moved to a Spanish church. I studied in Sagunto in the in the seminar uh, with Spanish teachers, yeah. obviously. And I was uh, uh, always exposed to different cultures. In Spain, we have uh, South America influence. And yeah, I, I, I know a little bit about the multiculturalism. So I issue. guess that that is a value why you were choose, uh, chosen to be one of the presenters. So what yeah. was your workshop about that, that? I mean, what did you actually give them? Just a summary. Yeah, a summary, very, very brief. We talk about what is culture because we all people have different cultures. It's yeah. not about nationality. It's not about language. It's not about food. <laughs> the nationality, the, the culture is so much deeper. It's inside of us. We try to define, we try to see the challenges that uh, it means uh, for the church, because in church we, we are uh, different nationalities, different cultures coming together and trying to worship one, one only God. And uh, to worship uh, a God when you, we, you have uh, different cultures may, may cause some trouble sometimes. We have some issues. And uh, we, we've been discussing about uh, the, the challenges we face in our local church and uh, somehow, uh, how the Bible uh, mm -hmm. can help us understand what the uh, cultural issue is uh, and how to uh, maybe uh, give a, a solution, how to uh, uh, get to a point of uh, understanding, of, uh, of uh, comprehending uh, each other, and uh, how does help us to make mission actually, because multiculturalism is a, Mm -hmm. It's a threat or it's an opportunity, and uh, I like to see like a, a big opportunity to make the mission. I guess that during I guess that during the workshop, you the the, the young people that they, they put a lot of questions to you, did they? Yeah, I tried. To, <laughs> I, I, I told them this is not a lecture. Uh, this is a workshop to discuss. Uh, they discuss at the beginning in groups, and yeah. after that, uh, I, I make a presentation, a quick presentation, with a lot of interventions. I, I want to hear them, and I want uh, for them to, to hear each other. We, we are people from the whole Europe here, different minds, different people, and I think this is rich. This, this gives us uh, a lot of interesting, uh, different opportunities to understand how other people think. And uh, what do you think is the come out the result of the workshop? I mean, what did they learn? What did you? Or what did you see that you think? Oh, I did it, or they did it? Yeah, I don't know if I did it or not. But, <laughs> uh, at the at the end, a lot of people we we uh, uh, we were talking a lot about uh, about our local church, how we feel, how we okay. face the challenges. And for me, it was very positive. I don't know for them. You maybe have to ask, you have to ask them, but it was great to see how uh, even that we have a lot of cultures, a lot of languages, a lot of uh, different nations, uh, we have somehow the same, the same issues and the same troubles and we have one God. And when we approach God, we have uh, somehow 
the same challenges to face and uh, getting together getting uh, something in common like jesus yeah. makes us uh, vulnerable vulnerable vul mm. vulnerable to uh, to share with our fears and everything with the others and this i think makes us stronger stronger as a christian and make our relationship with god uh, uh, to uh, better uh, it's it's interesting it's very interesting how so i guess you did a stress and you stress and, and try to make them understand the difference between cultural issues and theological issues exactly we we try to to uh, make a not, not a list but to, to talk about issues that are cultural yeah. and issues that are uh, uh, identity of Christianity our okay. identity is in Christ our identity is not in the clothes in the music and everything because everything that can change in time is, mm -hmm. is cultural mm -hmm. but Jesus didn't didn't uh, change himself in, in time Jesus was is and will be always the, the same. same and our mission it, we, we had a mission and we have a mission that is, is the same make disciples go and make disciples and teach teach them what I commanded you mm -hmm. we're not here to make uh, copies or, or, or to show uh, what is worse uh, of your uh, bad in your culture or good in mind is to show what Jesus command and what Jesus uh, send us to do. it's disciples and this it, it's his mission Okay. It's not our it's not our ours. ours. Yeah. Okay. Good. So for you, I guess, uh, what will be the ideal or the goal that you could you, you would love to see reflected in the youth that were attending your workshops? For you, that, that, that something that you would see that that was worthy in them, and once they are in back in, the, in, in into their churches. Yeah. I I uh, I think it 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 is. Um, it was very interesting because a lot of young people came later and say, I experienced that, I feel that in my church. And we start talking about how, how can we face, uh, how can we work when we had these issues with uh, multiculturalism in the church? Because there, there are people that in, in the church, they have 27, mm -hmm. I'm not joking, 27 nationalities, 27 culture or more. And we start talking about how, how do you do this? How in your country, how uh, your pastor, how? And for me, this is very, very important. Connecting together very different people, very different ways, way of doing church. Okay. And one goal, mission. mission. Okay. We uh, talk a lot about the mission and how multiculturalism is, is a, an opportunity to mm -hmm. make better the mission because we, when we have Multiculturalism, we have sensibility for uh, understand uh, each other uh, better. Different cultures. So the yeah. success back in the church, how do you think that this will, what will the young people bring to the church after this? And how that could affect the local churches afterwards? I mean, yeah. what, what will be the best I, for you? I hope for me the yeah, best that, that's it's, a it's to yeah. bring uh, in, the, in, the, in the local churches, I told them, go and uh, try to understand others, uh, others' culture. Try to explain why you do the things you do. That's mm -hmm. what culture. And, uh, let's let's create a space. The, the idea it will be to create a space where you can uh, sincerely share your concerns, your uh, your uh, um, your fears, everything that involves uh, culture. This this space is needed because. Uh, young people they they don't feel listened sometimes they feel like they're not part of the church they they not understand and it's very interesting the idea it will be to create this space this uh, uh, this momentum uh, this time where you can uh, freely talk about how you feel in your church how you feel about uh, the the way of uh, of how you do church and, and everything this, this will be the the ideal and there were some pastors there i think <laughs> it was very good some pastors came and uh, we we were talking later and uh, yeah they they had a great experience and they took some ideas to to put in practice in their churches so i i'm i'm glad but i, I insist you have to ask them <laughs> yeah you know but in any case uh, it's it's really very uh, for me, encouraging to see that pastors, young pastors, uh, were there with you, yeah. because that means that they are really concerned about that. They're worried, and they will probably mostly implement uh, 
during the churches yeah. what you, you you studied maybe that's a butterfly effect you know yeah, <laughs> yeah i hope i hope so yeah. It, uh, yeah it was it was great it it was a lot of people from different countries and yes. that makes the workshop uh, interesting because if we were only spanish people or uh, french people it would yeah. be less interesting yes that, that that's what enriches uh, the yeah. church yeah. so now uh, thank you so much no, thank, for, thank you. for for you have done for the workshop that you've given for the work that you're doing there in spain and for the time that you are just giving to the youth, because this is uh, not the future, it's the present church. Yeah, it's, it's the present church. So <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you and again. Thank God. Thank, thank you God. and thank God for And this. to you all, see you in the next one. See you.